My name is Nikia Johnson. On August the 27th of 2015, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. My initial reaction had, was shock, disbelief. I mean, when she came and she gave me the diagnosis, it's almost like somebody else was in the room, like she wasn't talking to me. And after that point, I just remember feeling this overwhelming sense of love that um, from God, that God loved me and I knew then that he was going to get me through it. I didn't know what I was going to do, what steps to take. I had so many questions. I just didn't know. So we left there. Uh, I had decided against chemo. I didn't want to do chemo because I remember going to the grocery store and I, you know, seeing the women who didn't have hair and they would wear these scarves and have their heads tied up and everything and I didn't want to be that one. And I heard that chemo made you sick. And I was like, I don't want to do that. So I decided against it. And I said I wasn't going to do it. And I had made up my mind. After a while, you know, my mom was like, you know what? You have a son that you need to see grow up. You have a husband. So you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do it. So um, I decided to go ahead and, and do it. I wanted to fight. I wanted to be there for my son, um, for my husband. So I decided to do it. So I had the surgery, so I had the port put in. And after I had the port put in, the very next day was my first chemo treatment. I remember um, after that first chemo treatment, um, we, it was getting ready to be spring break and we went out of town and I was leaving the bathroom. And so I um, looked in the mirror and then I had to go back because I noticed that the edges of my hair had started falling out, so it had already started. So um, that was hard because I didn't know what was going to happen after that? Was I going to lose part, part of my hair? Was all of it going to come out? Was some of it going to come out? Was it going to be patchy? What was going to happen? So what I did was I had to ask my husband to shave it. So he shaved my hair, shaved it bald. And at that point, my self-esteem, my confidence, everything, it just went downhill. And I was like, how does my husband look at me? I mean, what does my son see when he sees you know, his mom. I mean, at the time, he was seven years old. So I wouldn't let him see me with my, you know, without anything on my head or anything like that. So I started wearing a wig. So I did have a wig on. Um, he would see me with my wig on. And then one day, I was just tired of it. I mean, I was just tired of all of it. I was tired of wearing it. I was tired of, it was hot. I was like, this is it. So I remember asking God to help me to focus on the things that helped me and not the things that would hurt me. And after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm at home, so I'm gonna take my scarf off and I'm just gonna see what's, you know, what he's gonna think. So my son, who is an amazing little boy, came up to his mommy and he sat down right next to me on the couch. And all he did was he reached his hand up and he just started rubbing my hair, my head, because I didn't have any hair. I was able to ring the bell on July the 13th of 2016, symbolizing the end of all the chemo treatments that um, I didn't have to do any more, thank the Lord. And life for me has changed because um, I learned to live in the moment more. I enjoy life more. We laugh more, um, love harder. Um, There's certain things that you just don't take for granted. One of the things that we were able to do is we were able to go to NFL Honors and the NFL Honors, at the NFL Honors, we had the pleasure of meeting Paul Rudd, Ant-Man. So it was very, very, very exciting for us. You have to learn how to enjoy life and how to live it to the fullest. We've just been living life and enjoying it and enjoying one another and keeping it moving forward one day at a time, one moment at a time, and just living life.